Hi there and welcome back to my Landlord Lowdown. And today, just wanted to have a chat um, about rent increases now for tenants. Obviously, they don't want the rents to go up. Um, because obviously, it's another overhead. It's increasing their outgoings. Um, but as a landlord, you are running this as, I suppose, a business. Um, so with the way that rents have rocketed in the last 12 to 18 months, it will have left some of you behind. Now, uh, we've had a couple of instances where with supply and demand, um, we have got two bed houses coming back on the market at say 950 to 1,000 pound a month, and they are renting. And unfortunately, a landlord who's very kindly not increased their rent because of the COVID and sort of during that period, so the last sort of 18 months or so, um, are feeling a little bit left behind at maybe eight and 850 a month. now. I had a couple of conversations with a few people uh, regarding this and just wanted to put it out there for everybody. You can't realistically and fairly just put it up to today's market rent. So say for example, you're getting 850, um, to put it up to a thousand pounds, if the tenant disputes that, then you will end up um, with an issue with a fair rent tribunal and they will come back and obviously give a fair rent. What is a fair rent? Well, what does that constitute? Um, I don't think it's ever written down really in black and white from our perspective. Normally landlords will, on sort of the lower end, maybe look at a £25 a year increase, on the upper end, sort of £50 a year, and that's what we aim to do. It needs to keep it fair for you as the landlord because you are running this as a business. Um, mortgage rates are potentially are going to go up, so your overheads are going to go up. Obviously tax bills have gone up over the last few years. Um, with sort of like the, uh, you can't use the mortgage interest rate relief. Um, so it is costing you a bit more, so we do understand that. But let's look at it from another perspective. Um, if, a te if you've got a good tenant in the property, yes, I know we always want to be nice, and we are here at Evolution, and I know most of the landlords are as well that we deal with. But if you put the rent up too much, you do run the risk of scaring your tenant or alienating them. And by this, I mean that you could end up with the tenant giving you notice, and they're looking to vacate. You've then got void periods, you've got checkout fees, you've got setting up fees. And okay, as a company, yes, of course, we're gonna earn more money if that happens, but ideally we want what's best for you and the best for you is to keep a tenant in there. So regular small increases um, is generally our advice on a yearly basis. Michelle um, in our office normally looks after sort of rent increases and tenancy renewals. So if you have got any questions, if you're a little bit unsure, are you at the right amount? Is it a fair rent that you're uh, sort of uh, charging? Um, do speak to myself, speak to Michelle, we'll run you through it, we'll keep it fair for you. But there will be a few of you at the moment that feel that maybe the rent is a little bit short where it needs to be today. Um, but don't forget, there's been a massive hike and you see it, we've all seen it in the press, you only need to Google it. Um, rents have rocketed over the last 18 months. Um, so it has left quite a number of you behind, but it'll pay catch up, it'll be absolutely fine. As I say, a good long-term tenant is always worth more than trying to get an extra 50 pound a month by losing a tenant and bringing a new one in in theory so if you have got any questions just give me a call 01233 501 601 always here happy to help and as i say michelle and i will be working through those properties um, and making sure that you are getting as best uh, sort of best rent as possible um, but at the same time keeping your tenant happy and keeping them in there where you need them so we'll see you soon take care bye bye